Hello everyone and welcome back to the FRC Historian. Part of my goal of this channel is to help enlighten you on more aspects of the first robotics competition so you can learn more and appreciate it better as well. So first off, I'm going to start with this series of going through every single year some of the perks about it, some strategies of play, the teams who won, the teams who won chairmans, the teams who are, were going for each of those, as well as any big awards, as well as just looking at the game in general. First off, I'm going to start off with everyone's favorite game, Maze Craze. So in 1992, first started off strong with a whole 28 teams in Manchester, New Hampshire. This was the only competition of the year, with our very, with the first ever team to be inducted into the Hall of Fame being 191, the X-Cats, and our first ever world champion, Team 126, Gale Force. Now this was a little bit different than now. Right now we always have six robots in the field, this one had four. Why did it have four? Because there were four different teams on the field, they are each scoring on their own, and do you know why it was called Maze Craze? Because in this year, you had our field, you had your square field, and it was covered in two inches of corn. So what happened is you'd have robots that would drive around and they had to pick up game pieces where in this year were tennis balls. And for this year, when you had to pick up all the tennis balls, there were over 100 on the ground, each worth one point. Then there were some towers. You had one tower where if you grabbed the ball, it would be worth a significant amount more of points. And then you had two other towers which were worth a little bit less, and then two higher towers which were worth the same as the middle, or much higher. And uh, do you want to know what the most interesting strategy of play was? It was to grab the ones on the top first because they were worth a lot more. Or Team Gale Force winning. Well, one of the things about this game was you had to grab them and then you had to bring them back into your habitat. So even if uh, you you did tie another team, whoever did it faster won. It was only two minutes, and this was actually a year where there was no ba battery. There was actually umbilical power to the robots. And you only had two minutes instead of two and a half minutes. Now, if you want to know some other things about this t about this year, there were 26 teams, but not 26 teams. No, there were 28 teams. And 21 of those are not in record on the Blue Alliance. And of those seven teams, not many are still around. And even weirder, in 2000, no, in 1993, there were only six teams on the Blue Alliance, and two of those are new. So a lot of teams didn't compete the second year. But the first year, for anyone who was a part of it, it was a great year. There was a lot of corn, and it put up first to, to a great start. And when you really Come to think of it, and this was the first year with 28 teams where the Hall of Fame awardee was awarded in a high school in front of 27 other teams. Now let's think about how the last two Hall of Fame teams were awarded in giant stadiums and the world champions awarded in giant stadiums, one on Ford Field, one in Houston, and the baseball stadium. So it really goes to show how much has changed over all the years. I hope you like this video. I hope you have a greater appreciation for Maze Craze, and I will continue on later on. Thank you.